in 2 3 months of time we had the first midterm exam and i scored pathetically till date that is my worst performance so i moved to ranchi and once i landed in ranchi the amount of billboards and posters i saw about j the amount of news coverage in daily newspapers was just tremendously overwhelming and after that i started to think about iit or rather the joint entrance examination for iit 24 cross 7 cross 60 cross 60 which means every second of my life there which was a good thing because in the beginning i was a very very bad student and it's not because i was not studying it was because i was studying and pathetically failing to understand class 11 physics chemistry and maths and i still remember that uh, when teachers used to give questions on physics chemistry or maths the time i used to take to understand the question people used to raise their hand with answers and i was in a shock because i considered myself to be a very good student in maths and science and i was not used to this experience but the thing was i did not prepare for class 11 after my class 10th exam so i had fun from april to june april may june and these folks had started their j preparation from the month of march end after their last board exams so definitely they had a head start and they were bound to perform better than me in 2 3 months of time we had the first midterm exam and i scored pathetically till date that is my worst performance for any exam take the entire school life except that exam take my btech life uh, take my masters at isi of all these places that was the worst performance obviously my parents were not happy they felt that i am not studying properly but it's not their fault also because they were not really going through what i was going through even they were not there in that place i was in a different place entirely completely different place luckily i joined a coaching class or rather a tuition center by mr pratyush sir pratyush sir is also an iit kanpur alumnus and the way he taught physics was amazing he also used to teach maths but physics was his forte and the way he used to construct sentences with hindi english and bhojpuri words was so engrossing he never needed any jokes in between there are a lot of teachers who resort to jokes to capture the attention of their students throughout the lecture but pratyush sir never took the help of jokes he made the subject interesting by his personality and as i was quite impressionable at that age i considered uh, him to be my hero i did whatever he said i remember during the months of summer he used to not let us switch on the fans and he gave around 10 reasons why you should not be under the fan and those reasons were based on physics i mean i can make a video on the reasons he gave for not using a fan because those reasons are quite genuine i'll just give you one example take case a where you are traveling in a car for 100 kilometers with your car windows down and take case b when you are traveling in that same car in that same 100 km stretch with your windows up and air conditioning on now which will you find better and obviously the answer is air conditioning so he told that air conditioning is much better than fans but lo and behold the classroom did not have air conditioning so what we were made to go through was a lecture with no fans i remember my notebook was filled with sweat droplets it was kind of strange spots all over my notebook and i felt like that was preparation for something really intense in future life but those things aside he prepared us very well and i was so mad that even when i came back to home i was in the peak of summer month without a fan switched on and yes there was no air conditioning in my home also that was the level of craziness uh, i was reaching up to but that 
helped me in my JEE preparation. That improved my physics a lot because no matter how much you study, which books you study, how many hours you study, if you do not respect and trust your teacher, you will always, always fall short. You will always fall short by some amount. And I'm not talking about exceptions here. I'm talking about most of the people. Most of the people who don't respect their teachers don't get the desired results. Because you have to understand something. If you want to take knowledge from somebody, you have to first respect that person. Because if you can't respect a person, you should ideally not take lessons from him also. Because the lessons which he will give, you will not be able to understand you will not be able to completely make those part of you so find a teacher whom you can respect and trust religiously and one more thing he told us was that to just and just read one book on physics hc verma concepts of physics and i made concepts of physics hc verma my religious textbook 